Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. I'm a little depressed today and decided to come and share the joy with all my uh, charming subscribers. <clears throat> Nothing to do with the holiday blues or any of that crap, because I don't get into the holidays to have the blues over it. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just kind of, uh, things going on in the world sort of bother me a touch. Like the whole um, Israeli-Palestine situation. Yeah, that's really one of my passions, I suppose, is that whole situation over there. And how it's been misrepresented in the media here, in the corporate media, and, you know... It just gets to be depressing after a while. I, I can't believe, I suppose. Although I used to ignore it, too, because I didn't know about it. But now that I do know about it, I don't ignore it. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. I used to, um, well, um, you know, kind of buy into this Israeli exceptionalism BS because I was brainwashed through the media, but... Now that I kind of understand, and these other people that have given up the corporate media, that hate the corporate media, that are always criticizing the corporate media, are they going to realize the situation over there, the real history over there? Maybe they'll look into Elon Pape or uh, Max Blumenthal's work, or Mika Pellet's work, or, um, oh, oh, what's his name, what's his name? Uh, he's at the tip of my tongue. His parents were Holocaust uh, survivors, and his name is Norman Finkelstein, or Finkelstein. You know, just look at a different narrative, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I don't usually like to spoon-feed people, but I, in this case, I don't know if I'm spoon-feeding, but I guess I just can't get over that we just go on with life while this is unfolding and claim that Israel is so freaking wonderful and... And it's all, you know, part of this prophecy and blah, 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 blah. That's another thing. You know, I don't like to get on here and go on about religion or any of that because my goal is to really bring people together, various backgrounds, so we can have an honest discussion about things without labeling or or just being rude to one another. But the fact that we've, we have let people have, I guess, taken the criticism of religion and religious beliefs and taking the Bible literally and all that jazz that's kind of off the table. You know, you can't, you can't, I don't criticize it. You can't talk about it in polite company. You, you can't hold these people accountable or ask questions or it's considered to be rude or socially unacceptable or how dare you talk, you know, criticize somebody's religion and you have to respect all this crap. That bothers me. And, you know, I'm guilty too, only because I, I don't want to come on here and rail against any religious people. But I do have to say that when it comes to this particular issue, we have Zionist Christians galore that uh, go off that Schofield reference Bible. I think it was updated in 1906 or came to be in 1906, where a lot of revisionist stuff went on in the footnotes, ladies and gentlemen. And people that follow that today, it's just... What's the deal? Come on. There's no link between the people of Israel and the ancient Hebrews or any of that crap. It's it's a lie. It's built on a lie. Um, I don't know what else to say. It's making me depressed. I thought I'd share the love, share the joy with you over that. Maybe you can look into some of the people I just mentioned and learn for yourselves what's going on. And also check the USS Liberty, what happened there. Um, and I guess that's all the spoon feeding I'm going to do right now. Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging. While coming at you with thoughts of the day, please join me, join others. Drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues. Leave labels at the door. Research before you judge. And remember that I don't have the book with me. This was the last minute. Last second idea. I don't feel like pausing. I don't feel like getting up. War is a racket. General Smedley Butler. War is a racket. Check it out. Uh, get to know it. Love you. Thanks for listening.